Oh, hey, <laughs> sorry, I'm drinking Starbucks. If you know me personally, I drink this stuff all day, every day. If you're gonna be in the business, FYI, you need a Starbucks app on your phone because that's where I meet a lot of my clients. If we don't know each other, my name is Matt Stafford. I'm the owner of Stafford Senior Solutions as well as the founder of the Senior Referral Academy. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the corner of the screen if you would. Hit the bell so you receive all the notifications of upcoming videos that I do. I try to put out a video two or three times a week for information about the industry, how to grow a six-figure income right out of your house. That's why I do my videos in my home office because that's where I want you to work. That's where I want you to establish a six-figure income and enjoy what you do. Today, we're going to get into five questions that I have received lately in the last two or three weeks from people that have you know been on their mind they've been asking about the academy about the industry and they've had five questions and I want to get into those questions today hopefully it answers some of your questions if not go ahead and text the uh, number below you can ask me directly your question I would be happy to dialogue with you I love this industry has blessed us so much I want to be a blessing to you so let's get into the questions Okay, the number one question I receive on a, seems like a daily basis, I know, it's probably every other week, but it's quite frequently, is how does this industry even work, Matt? I mean, even people that know me personally, not just on YouTube and other channels that I'm on, but personally, they think I'm a broker, they kind of just look at it going, I'm still fuzzy about what it is you do. So I'm gonna attempt to explain it to you in about as elementary terms as I can, and not to insult you, but it is a simple, concept it is a simple business model that and that's why this business is so great for anyone out there that's got a heart for people that wants to make a great living for their family this is an awesome industry to be in but essentially what happens is uh, it is a senior referral business so I get a lead which I generate whether it be through a paid ad or whether it be social media marketing all the things I teach you in the Academy but you get this lead of a senior who is in need of either independent living, um, assisted living, memory care, something like that. They, they have either fallen, gone to the hospital, or they're currently in skilled nursing. They could be even at home. I've had ones that are at home that are living by themselves with dementia that are in need of our services. And so how does this work is that lead is generated then you meet with the resident and their family to go over options. What are their options? And you have to start with their diagnosis. Now, you're not a physician. You go by, in the state of California, we go by what's called a 602, a physician's report. Other states go by an assessment. But essentially, what are the seniors' ADLs? What are their activities of daily living? Based on that, you have done your research or you will do your research, pencil Depends on how seasoned you are in the industry. I've got a lot of contacts now from, man, from city to city, to city all through California. Uh, you won't start that way. You'll start off with no contacts <laughs> where you start, but you'll develop those relationships over time. And so essentially what you're doing is you are uh, identifying a senior that's in need, providing a free service, no obligation, helping them with the transition to a senior living community could be assisted living memory care all the sorts i teach you all that in academy it's called the process and that's why you have to go through the academy or buy a franchise or get with somebody that can give you this information because that is the missing element in people getting into this business they've got to understand the process and so that is essentially all i do i'm kind of a middleman i, I have relationships with the family because i've established rapport i do a lot more uh, than maybe the average referral agency because I, I keep their information private. I go on tours, I provide virtual tours, and I'm gonna teach you all that in Academy, but I do all that kind of information. And then I also have a relationship with the RCFEs, right? okay, residential care facilities for the elderly. Will it be a six bed or a larger community? And I just marry the two. That is the process. That essentially is what this industry is all about. 
That's why I think a lot of people, especially, are looking for a new career. Maybe they're a stay-at-home mom, whatever it may be. This is an ideal industry for you. Go ahead and text me if you would your question, or maybe you're interested in the academy that's coming up March 4th. It's just right around the corner. We're almost sold out. We got like three or four more spots available. I want you in this academy. But that is the first question I get all the time. What is this industry? That is it. I hope that explains. If not, reach out to me and I'll elaborate more for you. Okay, the second question I get is, Matt, does this require any type of certification or license? Okay, uh, in the industry itself, this is by far across the country, this industry is not regulated in most states. Now, in some in Arizona and Washington, a few others, this industry is regulated. Where I'm at in California, it will be. I hope it is because there's some things that I want us as a licensed um, insured company to take advantage of because there's a lot of people out there just trying to freelance and they're not really a company and they're just trying to get a finder's fee and all that. But even where we are now, you do not have to have any sort of certification or license. Now, to be a business, obviously, you need to have your business license wherever you are. Where we're located is so through the city. I've got my business license, so you need to do that. But the regulations part, depending on what state you're in, you just want to uh, maybe Google it. You know, go through the state, look through some information, uh, reach out to me. I can help you out with that as well. But currently, as it stands, there's no certification, no license needed. It's not like a real estate agent where you need to go get X number of hours for your course, take your state exam, and then your license. Now, maybe it will be in the future. I hope it will because um, I love this industry and I'm constantly learning myself and, I, and going through different things and teaching others. We do an academy. If you want to know more about the industry, you can text me and ask me about the academy. It's coming up March 4th. Would love to have you in it. But that's the second question I get. But to answer your question is, there's absolutely no certification, no license needed per se for the industry. As a business, yes, definitely. Get your license, get insurance, pay your taxes, do all that as a business. The third question I receive quite often is, uh, is there any roadblocks? I mean, what are the pitfalls in this industry such as, I mean, how difficult, Matt, really is it to uh, get out and, and get known in this industry? Like, you know, get into the skilled nursings or the hospitals. I mean, how difficult is to gain access to those institutions, those buildings, you know, to get into a relationship, if you will, with discharge planners or social workers and all the rest. You know, it, it's it's case by case basis. Obviously, you're going to find that just like anything in life, there's certain people that you're going to jive with, that you're going to be able to strike up a conversation, and you're going to have things in common. And those are the people you're probably going to end up working with. There's going to be some that's going to rub you the wrong way, and you're going to be cold toward each other, or just indifferent, or whatever it may be. It's just not a match made in heaven, okay? It's not a perfect science, but you're out there uh, letting people know what you're doing. You're helping seniors at no cost, no obligation, and you're letting them know you're of service to the senior generation, and you want to help them as well. And so you go to the discharge planners and, and the social workers, because they have a difficult job, okay? They, I mean, I won't go into all what they need to do on this video, but it's a difficult job, and there's a lot of aspects to your uh, position, your career that you get involved in, as I call it myself, a senior living specialist, you can help them greatly. And if they utilize your service, and you're a little bit different in the sense that you're just not name dropping, you're just not you know, saying, okay, I've got a senior now that's in need of assisted living, so let me go drop this person's name, address, phone number off to 25 different communities. You're not doing that. You're actually guiding the family through the process and you're there for them. You're providing that stellar service that everybody should provide. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. On a national level, that's hardly ever the case, but on the local level, it varies from agency to agency. But is it difficult? It all depends. It's going to take time. I mean, you might walk into a skilled nursing and gain access to the social worker like that. I have no idea. Or you may walk in and you're not able to gain uh, any access or have any form of uh, conversation with a social worker for weeks and months to come. So it all depends. But you got if you're you got this vision and this mission within you that you want to help seniors, 
You're not allowed, you're not gonna allow something like that to stand in the way for you getting in the industry because it's hard. There's a lot of things in life that are hard, right? There's a lot of things that are difficult. Have you ever heard people tell stories of doing something that sounds so easy and you're like, ah, oh, that's too good to be true? And maybe what I'm telling you sounds like that, but it's not too good to be true because there's a lot of seniors that are out there that are in need of your help. You realize there's 47 million seniors in the United States now? They need your help. So hopefully it answers the, the question you have in terms of you know how difficult it is to gain access and get out there to be known. And uh, I don't think it's that difficult. You may find it a little uh, awkward at first or a little more trying or whatever adjective you want to put there. But I, I'm a firm believer if you just uh, have the vision within you, you believe in what you do, and you exercise commitment and diligence, uh, you'll press through and you'll help a lot of seniors in the process. A question I received not too long ago, the fourth question we come to is, Matt, what's the best way to get my business off the ground? And I can only speak from experience, right? It's gonna vary from person to person, from company to company. But back in 2018, we established our business. Man, we just ran after. We dove 30 feet in the water. We started swimming, whether we knew we could swim or not. We had limited contacts. We had a $9.99 Wix website. I had a business card that I'm ashamed to show you today because it was flat out ugly. It had the Vista Print logo on it. I didn't realize that you know that triangle was you know exclusively Vista Prints. It was on that I was passing out to people, and I was just out doing my thing. Um, but I mean, what's the best way to get known? We immediately got on social media. We had our Facebook, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, and all the rest. And we just kept putting out different things about the company, about the industry. Um, I don't encourage so much using stock photos. Sometimes people use stock photos and just have information, of, you know, kind of base information on that stock photo. I don't recommend that. Actually, we recommend using live photos, whether it be yourself or someone you have permission to use, uh, video, uh, making it personable, making it real, because that is what people want. They want to make sure and they want to know, are you for real? Well, when they look at your pictures, look at your video, you know, they can kind of draw a conclusion whether you're being real or not. And I, I want to show, I do in my business, I show updated information uh, about where I'm at with permission. I can show residents at times. Sometimes I can't. I blur that out. I never take pictures or uh, videos in hospitals and skilled nursing, places like that. You can understand why for a privacy issue, but what's, what's the best way to get known? Going back to that question is, the best way is social media. The best way is getting out and networking with the very people that you contact on social media. Now, granted, they're in your same area, and you want there's some strategy involved in that, especially on LinkedIn and some others that I go over in the academy that will help you out to reach out to others. So as you, as you reach out to them on LinkedIn, then you're able to have a coffee with them, go by their office, and you wanna get with people that are like-minded. You wanna get with people that have similar energy and interests as you do, uh, whether they're you know dealing exclusively with seniors or not, but you wanna deal with people like that. So the best way to get known, again, is social media, and then networking, you've got to be able to network with people. It's more than just a telephone. It's more than just you know emailing people and, and text. And that, all that is important. I do that every day. But you have to be willing to get out of the office. And my office is in my home. This is where I'm at. And that's where I want you to be as well. Establish that six-figure income. I'd be so excited to hear from you and your stories. But you got to be able to get outside, knock on some doors, talk to people, establish that relationship. There's nothing better than that one-on-one -on -one contact. And that does come through social media. That kind of starts it all. So hope that answers the question. But the best way to get known uh, and the best way to, to get your business established is through social media and networking. Okay, I've saved the most popular question for the last one. I have received this question numerous times over the last year, year and a half, and it seems like I get it at least once a week from somebody when they reach out about the academy, about the industry. The question is this, Matt, honestly, how much money will I make? And I can understand that because, man, in any business endeavor you, you venture out to do, you want to know the dollar sign, right? I mean, if you're going to count the cost and giving up time and your own resources and all that, how much money are you going to generate, right? And what's your rate of return and all this stuff, right? And so I want to help you in this and, and be as basic as I can. Obviously, I can't guarantee how much money you're going to make because I don't know your work ethic. I don't know your contacts. I don't know where you live. There's a lot of invariables. I just don't know, okay? But 
Rule of thumb is the average person will generate roughly $3,000 per move in. Now, again, going back to the first question, uh, how does business all works? We're identifying a senior and we're assisting with that move. And when they move into an RCFE, a large community or a six bed, okay, the average income that you're going to make on that could be a little less, could be a lot more, but on average is $3,000. So let me explain it this way. If you work this business part-time, and I mean part-time, probably five, 10 hours a week uh, on average, you're gonna make $72,000 a year. Now, how did that come up with that number? $3,000 a move in, roughly if you're given five, 10 hours a week, you're probably gonna end up doing two move-ins for the month, okay? So that's $6,000 a month times 12 is $72,000. Now, for ones like myself in this industry that are working full-time, we're well into six figures, and I'm not here to brag and go into all what I make. That's not important. I wanna help you get from where you are to where you wanna be. I know the average income in the United States currently stands around $56,000 or so. And that's not a whole lot of money. Now, I remember when I was generating that, if somebody came to me and said, hey, if you get in this industry and on a part-time basis, you're gonna generate roughly $72,000 for the year, man, my hand would have gone up and said, hey, that's me. I wanna be in this industry. If you wanna know more about it, just go ahead and text the number below. Let's have a conversation. You can ask me, uh, maybe you have a different question than the five I covered on this video. And I will be happy to uh, have a conversation with you and help you out as best I can. Okay, that does it. That's the five questions I wanted to cover on this video. I hope it brought some clarification. If it didn't, don't, don't hesitate to text my number below. I would love to talk to you about this industry. It's so blessed us. And we have had the opportunity to bless hundreds of seniors that are out there. And we're looking forward to hundreds more. Uh, I want you to be involved in this industry. Maybe you can't specifically be involved in this industry because of time restraints and because of different things you got going on in your life. Maybe you know somebody else. Share this video with them. Say, hey, have you heard about this industry that you can get involved in? I keep thinking about you know, a husband and wife, one that's staying home for whatever reason, and the kids have gotten a little bit older, and if that's you, man, this could be the right opportunity for you to branch out and start something new for you and your wife or you and your husband to do something to help others to make a great amount of money for you and your family. And it'd just be a great opportunity. So I'd love to hear from you. I'm looking forward to you being the next senior living specialist in your area, generating the amount of money that you greatly deserve.